because I did the program probably like four years ago, started SOAR. <clears throat> I had uh, continuously gotten better, like to the point where I was less fear, like my husband's a pretty, like not fearful flyer, but like during turbulence, I was calming him down. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we went to Aruba about a year ago and um, on the way back, uh, flying into Chicago, we were O'Hare uh, specifically, terrible turbulence, weather was really bad. And um, we had to circle mm -hmm. around O'Hare for like 45 minutes in turbulence. And I just sat there like, and I just started sobbing, crying, because I was so nervous. Like my fear had full come back, like full blown. Uh, and so I emailed you about it and you mentioned the, my automatic control, um, working in turbulence and uh -huh. that I should jump on the call. Okay. Um, when you're talking about it right now, um, uh, on a scale of zero to 10, zero being totally relaxed and 10 maxed out, where do you feel now just talking about it? Maybe like, a. Probably only like a two or three though. Um, I have told that story um, okay. to other people. So pretty, pretty low -ing. Okay. The reason I was asking if it was up, you know, like five, six, seven, eight, we could do this erasure exercise on it and, and run it down and we could still do it. If, yeah. If out of really curiosity, bothering. what is that? Well, what happens is your memory of this event has what we could call a timeline. You were, at this point, and then this happened, and this happened, and then this happened. What we do is, I would listen to what you have to say and take some notes and say, okay, now let me see if I can guide you through a backwards version of that. And as I guide you through it, imagine you're watching it like you had the video of the, of the episode, and you're watching the video backwards. Oh, okay, because sure. What we try to do is we want to create a backwards memory, and we want to as we create it, store the backwards memory on top of the forward memory. Yeah. And once we get two of them stored at the same place, roughly the same power, um, they just pretty much cancel each other out. So that when you start to remember the original incident, uh, the, the backwards version jumps in and messes things up. <clears throat> so you, you just don't get much, if any, uh, stress out of it. Okay. We could play around with it if you want to, but two, sure. two isn't bad. So, so give me the rundown. So you, you came in, it was turbulent, and you made an approach, missed the approach, had to go up and hold in turbulence for about 45 minutes, and then what happened? And then we ended up landing, but me in that 45 minutes, uh, I was sitting next to the window. Uh, my husband was sitting next to me and um fear began to increase um and i just remember thinking i just want to land i just want to land like i remembered i like that just kept going to my head like i just want to be on the ground right now because it was just continuous turbulence okay, uh -huh. uh, which okay but did, did you land at o'hare did you go someplace else oh we landed in o'hare yes okay so let's just kind of play with it a little bit and let's say yes. do you remember getting your baggage uh, let's see. I don't believe we had baggage. Um, I think it was, I think we brought it on the flight. Okay. Um, we didn't have any checked bags. All right. So, so how did, how did you get so, back home? Right. So, uh, my aunt came to pick us up from the airport. Okay. All right. So let's say you're That's in the car with your aunt. Yes. And this kind of reminds me a little bit of Groundhog Day. You remember that movie? Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. All right. So you're in the car with your aunt and suddenly, uh, Time starts running backwards and your car is going backwards. Okay. All the cars you see out the windshield, they're coming at you, but it's okay because you're going backwards and you go all the way back out to the airport. You get out of the car. Um, you say hello to your aunt and walk away from her. Right. And, yeah. and go backwards into the terminal. Everybody's walking backwards because time is running backwards. You go into the terminal, walk backwards, backwards to, I don't know, did you have to go through customs? Uh, we did, yes. Okay, so okay, yep. so you go backwards through customs, yep. and then when you get to passport control and they stamp your uh, passport, then the ink comes off the passport. Yeah. So it's because it's all backwards. Yeah, I like it. Go, okay, yeah. And then you go backwards to where the airplane is parked and you go backwards through the jetway. It's kind of crowded, so you're shuffling a little bit. And you go all the way back into the airplane, into the aisle, and it's really crowded, so you're just barely moving inches. 
and then you slide into your row where your seat is and sit down and your seat belt goes jumping up into your hand and goes click. <laughs> okay, the door closes and the engines start up and the plane taxis backwards out to the runway. Hmm. It goes backwards. Can you picture it going backwards? Yeah. Okay. okay, and then it makes a lot of noise and it goes tail first backwards down the runway, bumps up into the oh. air. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> it was probably the bumpy landing, right? And then it starts shaking and bumping in the turbulence and you go up backwards up into this area you're just flying around i don't know if you're in a holding pattern but it, 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 whatever you're in you probably don't yeah. know except you were in turbulence and you're yeah. wishing i want to be on the ground i want to be on the ground i want to be on the ground and then you stop kind of saying that and you're a little better off but not much better off but you're at least not saying that again and again yeah. and then the plane goes backwards down and makes a pass at the runway and goes back up again and then you go back up all the way to cruise altitude and all that time you're in turbulence and then you get up to cruise altitude it's smooth i guess wow. okay. yeah. all right yeah. now now let me ask you now you kind of you kind of got that backwards version yeah because okay. i'm going to ask you to run it on your own silently and just take a minute or two to run it in a okay. minute Okay. All right. But, but we're doing the backwards version. But you're gonna do you're gonna do the backwards version. Now what you're doing is you're writing the backwards version in your mind and we want to put it right on top of the original version. So okay. how do cool. we find that location? Aha. I just want you to go back and remember the original event. Okay. And see if you can find one piece of memory that you hadn't thought about. Okay. And as soon as you got it, run the backwards version. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. You ran it that quick? Quick. I, I'm. I, I tried to do it a little faster than when you spoke it out loud. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. But... <laughs> try. Try. Try it one more time. See if you can go back and find a piece of something that you didn't remember before, and then run it. You know, take your time and. Okay, sounds good. I'm actually doing this as well with the uh, go around sequence into oh, Kansas City. All right, okay. So. Good. And I think I found a piece that I didn't originally remember in my movie version. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Now, the next thing I'm going to ask you, and what I want you to both just do is imagine you're at a party and people are talking about, you know how, if you're a fearful flyer, they love to tell you about their flights from hell, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> right. <laughs> and so they tell you about their terrible flights and then you say, ha, you think that was bad. Let me tell you about mine. So anyway, I'm just trying to <laughs> give you a, a setting where you might be in a social situation and right. this flight come to mind. Let's just let's just imagine that it just you just bring it to mind now, and on a scale of zero to ten, where are you now as you think about it? I am definitely closer to a zero uh, because okay. I think running through it backwards is a little amusing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know which it is. Whether maybe amusement is what really does it. I don't know. Justin, <laughs> how, how about you? Oh. Oh, let's see. I was probably at about a three when I ran it through originally, and now I'm probably at like a a one. See, normally I would do this like two or three times. Sure. To see, but you guys did really good, and <laughs> right off the bat. So well, the thing you... is, thinking of being at the party and thinking of my uncle, who is not um, a memory that I use in the strengthening exercise. He's not. <laughs> yeah, okay. Thinking of him. Yeah. Having a rough time on a flight is hilarious. I think okay. it's funny. So I'm like, uh -huh. hmm, Uncle Donnie, you had a rough time, did you? Well, check this one out. <laughs> uh, okay. 